All right, what is up? I'm back again. It's been like a week, right? It's been like, actually it's been more than a week, so it's been a little while, I missed you guys. But today I'm at the gym, I'm gonna work out, but I'm not gonna film the workout. Uh, I wanna show you the workout, but I'm gonna show you something, in my opinion, more important, which is the, the things you should be doing before and after working out, and how you could make more use of your workout. Because if you have a certain amount of time, I'm sure you guys have a certain amount of time that you guys go work out inside or outside the gym, you guys want to make the most of it, right? So to make the most of it, you have to put your body in the best position and best, I guess, state so you could have the best workout. So this whole thing is about foam rolling and foam rolling goes into the recovery thing and the stretching and all these other trigger point therapies. But foam rolling is what I'm going to talk about today because it's very, very underrated. And I'm going to talk to you guys how foam rolling could help your overall performance and how you look and also your squat and your bench and your pull-ups and maybe your push-ups and potentially even like six-pack abs like that corny thing of people saying oh this to get six-pack abs so which it's not it's not going to be a direct correlation but there's going to be things you could do with the foam roll that I'm going to explain in a second how you'll see it's going to help everything that you do physically okay so I'll see you guys inside okay so the whole thing with um the foam rolling, right, for gains, it's not gonna directly, like, you foam rolling is not gonna make you bigger, stronger, faster, right after you foam roll, right? You gotta, you gotta use it as a tool to allow yourself to work out better, to get more gains, to get stronger, to get bigger, to look a certain way, whatever your goals are, right? So, the foam roll is only a tool, and I say it can help you make gains in your whole entire body, because if you look at your body, the mo in my opinion, the most important things are your hips, and also your shoulders. So your shoulders are really responsible for pulling movements, pushing movements, anything upper body wise, whether it's a bench press, push up, pull up, or some type of like uh, bent over row, right? Those are the main movements that's gonna help you build the most upper body strength and also mass and uh, muscle and also endurance, whatever, right? So if you wanna get results, those are the things you wanna do in a fashion of, uh, whether it's bodybuilding or powerlifting or even Olympic lifting, but those movements. Uh, for upper body and then your lower body movements are going to be like your squats and your lunges and stuff which all have to do with your hips so i always at least a few times a week before i, I uh, work out any part of my body i try to roll up my whole entire body and my whole entire body not being like my wrists and my hands and my calves even though that's good i just try to focus on my hips which are my glutes and my my tfl and i'll show you that in a sec so tfl is uh it's right here but as you can see as i'm rolling out now it's, uh, I try to find a spot that hurts the most and stay there for about 10, 15, 30, sometimes 30 seconds. And uh, it helps me open up my hips and my glutes, which allows me to have a better squat, which allows me to squat heavier and more efficiently and more times throughout the week. So essentially I'm getting more gains because I'm getting more leg mass, leg drive, leg power, lower body, um, I guess muscle mass, right? which your legs are your biggest muscle group of your body. So if you build your legs really, really well, then you're gonna have an overall better upper body. You're, you're gonna get, if you're that much more likely to get six pack abs because of your in increase of metabolic rate and also testosterone. Um, that, that being said, it's the same thing for your upper body too. The same exact thing for your lower body, your upper body with whether it's like an overhead press or a, uh, a push press or a bench press or a push up or even a row, if your shoulders and your rear delt, delt and rhomboids are always, I guess, in a healthy state and they're always loose and not too tight and you you're can consistently stretching them out and rolling them out, you're going to be that much in a better position and state of your body to be better at bench press or better at pulling or be better at any pushing movement, right? So these two things, just honestly the rear delts and where right here where this insertion point meets um as you can see i'm rolling it out those two were those two things with me rolling out my hips and my my glutes and also my my tfl my it band and also my rear delts where my lat meets into my shoulder insertion that's those are the two things i focus on you can do other things but those are the two biggest things that i think is going to help you with gains so foam rolling with gains those are two spots give it a shot um but Try to find a spot within your back and your rear delt, and also find a spot within your hips and your glute and your TFL. And your TFL is uh, right here, right? Your glute and your TFL goes here, and your IT band's right there. Uh, find a spot, stay on it for as long as you can until it stops hurting, and then move it around. 
and then do that to start once a week and then twice a week, three times a week, and then almost every day when you train, you'll realize that you'll feel a lot better for everything you do inside the gym. So give it a shot, guys.